Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AxisTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody's having a better day than me, okay? I had a really messed up day. Nothing to do with trading. So, <laughs> I woke up this morning and my neck felt very, very stiff. At some point, it got to the point that I felt like my neck could move. So, I found myself in this right this was me for 15 minutes i went through i had a really really bad pinch nerve about a year ago so i went through therapy and then they gave me this kind of robo cop thingy majiggy that i pumped up this little area here i pumped up stabilized my neck felt better and then next thing you know after the close one of my light bulbs and one of my hi-hats it pops and i didn't realize there was glass still stuck up in there so naturally what do i do I stick my hand in there, and then my freaking finger is bleeding out of control. That's right, but I'm from Brooklyn, baby. Born, just, just, I'm from Brooklyn, we're tough. This isn't gonna take me out the game. <laughs> so, so I just couldn't get out of my own way today. Guys, good evening everybody. Hope everybody is having a, a good trading day. Um, it, 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 was a, it was a very, very odd session today. If, if you guys remember, if you guys remember um, yesterday, okay, uh, we talked about how many stocks were just sitting at the middle of the ranges. Okay, I didn't love anything to the upside. I didn't love anything to the downside. There was a couple of names that I was watching to the downside. Uh, one of them uh, triggered, confirmed, and is about to get really, really pummeled. We'll talk about that in a second. But you know, I, I went into today's trading session and we talked about this uh, at Morning Strategy, and I basically said, "Listen, I will not be shocked." if we are sitting here. Matter of fact, let me just kind of show you the comments. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So I was sitting there and I'm like, you know, I, I go, I don't love anything today. Just the way we talked about last night in the video, I go many names close in the middle of their ranges, in the middle of the channels. Um, I will not be surprised if the channels completely contract today. It might be one of those days we're very, very patient. And again, patience is good. Patience is a sign of maturity, okay? Uh, patience is a sign of maturity, and the most important part of patience is not just something you say, it's something that's gonna keep you out of trouble. And I was ready mentally, okay? I'm, I'm pretty good at kind of dissecting what kind of aggressive or passive action we're gonna find throughout the day, and I was mentally prepared for it. So I had no expectations coming into the day. There was nothing that I was looking at that said, you know what? You know, this is going to give me any type of sign that I have to press today. And I was okay with it. And this is, again, why we talk about that the market is the absolute greatest reality show that's not on television. Like, technology is ridiculous, okay? Uh, for those of you, again, who don't trade beta, you had shop come out with earnings this morning. Initial move down, down $20. We started noticing, hey, the stock's not going down. You had BYND come out with earnings. And again, if you've been watching this broadcast uh, for the last you know, week or so, I'm like, look, I don't believe in the whole theory if there's a shortage in meat that the stock is gonna benefit. The stock benefited. Today I sat there and I go, today there's no way this market's gonna be aggressive. I don't see how it could possibly be aggressive. Da da da, -da the market was absolutely aggressive. And you know, again, everybody is looking for this, and we'll get to individual pivots in a second. And again, everybody is is looking for that rug pull. Okay, and I again, I, I've been saying this for a while. I'm not naive. I've been you know with one eye open, one eye closed, right? Really concentrating on both sides of the market to make sure there is no rug pull. That make sure that we're pro you know properly positioned, that we could take advantage if there is a pull to look for any type of signs. And I thought today was gonna be one of those days that everything was gonna just trickle down to the bottom of the range, right? And tomorrow, right, for tomorrow's session, everything was gonna confirm and we were gonna have an aggressive Thursday and Friday into, uh, in, into the weekly expiration. And the most amazing thing happened today, okay? Completely the opposite. Uh, and this is, again, one of those scenarios that I always talk about, especially to the new traders, have an opinion, right? Have an opinion. Let the market tell you you're wrong, right? Instead of trying to figure out, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of the market trying to tell you, 
that you're making a mistake and you're trying to will and force a trade and force the action uh, in your way, okay, uh, let the market tell you that you are on the wrong side. And if you look at today's action, again, I was wrong. You know, not only did the market, again, using my left hand here, I'm telling you, I'm gutting it out, baby. I'm gutting it out. Um, just from the point of reference, we started seeing, you know, I started putting some plays into the channel. For example, just if you, if you see the first play here, it said, Roku 125 needs to build scalp only, right? Scalp only, 50 cents, a dollar. You know, maybe if it stretches out, keep a runner. Maybe you could get a dollar of the trading. Again, ranges are super duper tight. Again, I'm going to wait for things to kind of play out, right? Let, let things play out. There's a couple scalps. We'll be fine. Next thing you know, Roku wakes up, right? Roku wakes up and Roku, it's such a pain in the ass using your other finger. Roku wakes up off the 125 break, right? Off the 125 break. And here's the whole range here, 125, right? And it just absolutely explodes and goes to like 129. I think they report uh, for the day. Yesterday, last night, we talked about Disney, right? We talked about the idea that Disney, Disney was a good chance they were going to get a mulligan, right? They were going to get a mulligan for their lack of uh, revenue. And again, we talked about this last night, 58% down. Uh, for the resorts being closed, for the cruise ships uh, being uh, docked. And we said, look, it, it, as, as long as they don't announce anything really, really crazy, I think the market will give it a mulligan. And again, and this was actually the first pivot of the day. Uh, I said, hey, watch red to green for experienced traders only. This is not a pivot, just reversal on bad earnings. Again, this is going with the theme that the market is giving mulligans. Now, again, I've always said take sales along the way. Now, Disney finally gave a pivot, right? It, it gave a really, really good pivot finally towards it, towards the uh, mid-morning. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Tesla, again, sat within these ranges, right? Keep an eye on it. Sat within these ranges, never violated to the upside, never violated to the downside. These are the macro ranges, right? These are the absolute macro ranges that Tesla needs to confirm. And if you look at the bottom of the range here, you'll notice the low today was 760. The top of the range here, right, that we put pre-market was 790. So it sat, it tested both of the ranges, right? Both of the ranges. So you'll see how important these two ranges are. Netflix was was good. I caught this thing twice, but it's trade so darn choppy. But again, I thought there's a shot it gets this. Uh, I thought there was a shot it could get to 738. Uh, here is again. Remember yesterday we were talking about the pre-market highs. 431, 75, 432. That was the pivot today. And that was a strong move here. Uh, nice move on Netflix. Really, really nice move on Netflix. I was in this thing two entries just because, again, it's just it's, it goes up like a dollar, dollar and a half, and then comes back in. So again, you got to take your cash flow, use break even. So here was the 7135, right? Here's the 7135. That was pre-market highs from yesterday. And the stock exploded, right? The stock exploded. It kept on giving a dollar, dollar and a half. Uh, every single move and eventually I said the stock should get to about 438 and the reason where I got 438 was that was the high right that was the high from this candle right over here which was uh, three uh, 438 uh, 41 and again put in a move of 440 so I still like uh, Netflix going into uh, tomorrow's session uh, Boeing was huge right this is the one that we were talking about last night that I said look there's two stocks um, there's two stocks that are not they're really, really noticeable out there. If you charted last night, uh, the first one was Boeing, right? The first one was Boeing, and the second one, not to, the, not to take it out of the bag, but it was, it, was, it was Tesla. I felt if Tesla could have started violating the 760 range, then I believe the stock could have went lower. Obviously, it didn't, so we're going to watch tomorrow, obviously, Tesla to the upside. Uh, but Boeing got hit. Boeing got hit, and now it's for tomorrow. It is about to test the macro lows. We talked about these levels here as to the downside. 125, 124.30s. So here was Boeing right over here, right? Here was Boeing right over here. Here was the 25. That was yesterday's low, right? Yesterday's low was 25. It violated that. Okay, 23, uh, four, uh, excuse me, four, 124.35. It took out that. 123.80, it took out that. So again, if you look at the macro area tomorrow, unless something really, really crazy happens, I do believe Boeing will test the 120 level and that will be a do or die. So you can see the pivot here just got destroyed, just absolutely got destroyed, went down to the 121 and change area. Uh, so again, Boeing is setting up really, really aggressively uh, for tomorrow's session. 
Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Oh, Disney. So yeah, so Disney watched the uh, red to green uh, traders only. This is not a pivot, just momentum. And then we talked about it. I said, look, 101.65 needs to build and reclaim for more. And this is again, this is the whole point of giving the mulligan, giving the companies a pass, and you know, and really, really absorbing negativity and taking these stakes higher. So. Uh, it broke the 101.65, put an initial high of 102, then retraced. 102 became uh, the second entry, and Disney exploded. Man, Disney really put up a pretty strong move, okay? Absolutely pretty strong move. So here is the 102. You can see it right here, opening range, right? 102, and it exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded, went all the way up to, uh, to 105 and change area on Disney. So good, good job for you guys who caught that as well. Uh, ABBV, ABBV was actually, it wasn't even, even my idea. Uh, I think it was DC who brought it uh, into the live webinar. This wasn't even my idea, but a pivot is a pivot is a pivot. Uh, ABBV, 87 rejection twice needs to build. Uh, nice spike, nice, definitely nice spike on ABBV uh, for, to, for, uh, for, to, for today. So here's the 87 and it went all the way to like 88 and change. So that was good as well. Uh, and you, you started seeing really good aggression, really good value uh, one by one. Uh, Apple, here it is, uh, $300.40 needs to build. I said, hey, start taking sales at 302. Uh, it, it's coming into supply. And Apple has been a really, really strong trader uh, for the last couple of days. I mean, really, really strong levels. So here is the whole level right here. Uh, $300.40, and it exploded, really, really exploded. Uh, put in actually a high of almost 303, so nice move on Apple. Uh, Roku, like I said, take on the way up, right? Disney, bingo. Uh, and then obviously, here's a little bit of jokes. Well, this didn't age really, really well. They don't love anything, right? Really big moves, like really, really big moves there. Uh, came out this morning, then you had Boeing again. Uh, strong move to the downside. Uh, NVIDIA 301 needs to build. Here was NVIDIA. So you start, I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing how much value we had. And if you told me today, here's the 301, right? 301 went to uh, 302. Not a big move, but again, uh, it is what it is. Uh, dollar move on NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA take on the way up. And I kept on saying here, I go, I'm shocked how much value we're getting today. Considering I thought this was going to be an incredibly quiet day really got good value. I mean, really, really good value. So I caught Netflix twice. I caught Boeing today, uh, Tesla. And then again, towards the end of the day, uh, Tesla 779.60, uh, 779 to the upside, 760 to the downside. And Tesla had to move again, right to that 790 level that we talked about. Uh, they got rejected again. So that becomes the macro number if you see here. Uh, so right here, here was the, here was the pivot, the last uh, the, the 60 minute channel on uh, Net, uh, Tesla right here, this whole uh, 779 area, and it went as high as to 789. So again, tomorrow is setting up, oh, and I, I love it. I love Amazon for tomorrow, okay? Um, I love Amazon for tomorrow. Uh, if it can, you started seeing towards the end of the day, uh, the 2,400 calls, you even started seeing a leap. Somebody bet, I think the $2 million for next January or February, uh, of the 2980 calls. I know that's way out of the, you know, way out of line, but boy, oh boy, it really gets going. And if you look how tomorrow everything is playing out, guys, just look at these channels, right? Look at these channels here, how potentially what we can actually see tomorrow, right? So Netflix macro, right? Netflix macro got above this finally, this 331, uh, 431, 432 level. Now it just needs to confirm this channel here. And if it does, again, we started seeing a lot of 450, 455, uh, weekly call buyers coming in. Name. Again, it's very, very possible if Netflix confirms, it could see 450, 455 very, very quickly. Um, I love Amazon for tomorrow. Again, the first step today, it took out that 451 level. You can see here, it closed right at this 2351 level. It stopped at the 10 day. If this 10 day gets confirmed tomorrow, guys, right? You see this, this pen here? If this 10 day gets confirmed tomorrow, right? There's a shot this thing sees you know, 2475, 2500, if the market continues to stay strong. Obviously, um, I like that a lot for tomorrow as well. Uh, Tesla, again, take on the way up in the last move, and that about it. So, you know, I am bullish for tomorrow, okay? I'm definitely bullish for tomorrow. Uh, obviously, BYND, 25, 26% move today. Uh, any dips I like for tomorrow. Um, I like this non-beta name, Space. Uh, for you guys, you know, first close uh, above the 50-day supply. 
If this space, keep an eye on it for tomorrow. For all you guys who, do, who don't trade beta, keep an eye on this thing, uh, SPCE. Uh, if this thing starts building, you know, above 19, you could get a move uh, into the $20 area. That looks good as well. But again, beta looks super good. I even like ZM for tomorrow, right? ZM, if it starts confirming this channel here, I like that as well. So again, everybody's waiting for this, this, this magical, aggressive rug pull. Yes, are you getting a rug pull on a lot of names, potential like Boeing and so-and-so? Uh, you are, absolutely. Individual names. Airlines are getting absolutely manhandled, right? Look at, you know, look at AAL. It's, it's literally one day away from next leg down. Yet put buying all over the place on DAL, AAL. They, they're all the same charts, okay? If one's going to go, they're all going to go. And I'm assuming, and again, you can only assume, but if, net, if, if Boeing starts cracking and starts taking out the lows, uh, from April the 2nd, there's a shot this thing gets hit. We saw today uh, put buyers, weekly put buyers for the 120, the 115s. Hell, we even saw it for the 105s uh, short-term uh, expiration. So again, I'm gutting it out, baby. Again, Brooklyn, we go hard. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless you all, and I'll see you on the field tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.